Hello, everybody. Um, this is Michael. And last video, we described the state machine for the UR. So uh, in this video, we will describe the UR virtual devices in Vero code. Okay. Um, first, uh, we take a look at the code. Okay. So here is the virtual devices code for the UR. Okay. First, uh, we take a look at the module interface. So this is the module, module name. VD means uh, virtual devices. This is the device's name. Okay, this is input RX. RX means receive data. This is output. Output is uh, transfer data out. It is a register valuable. Okay. Uh, okay. First, we need to define some valuable. So this is T1B. What is T1B? Okay, let's take a to take a look at the timing. Take a look at the timing. So this is the 1B time. So this is the 1B time. Okay. So this is a T1B means a 1B timing. Register start B. Start B is this. And stop B. Stop B is this. And re and RX done. RX done means we already received some data. And RX data. RX data is keep the received data is 8B. Okay. Um, first, we initialize the initialize the variable and uh, uh, T1B. We make it is 500. Y is 500, okay? Um, let's take a look at the uh, pre previous uh, video. We described the port rate, okay? For the UR port rate. For this chip, okay? For this chip, it came from 300 to 3 meg, okay? We take uh, like 2 meg, okay? Uh, we take 2 meg. And we know the baud rate is beaters per second. So one B time will be one second divided to meg. And then uh, um, because here our time scale is one nanosecond. So we, we use the nanoseconds. Uh, nanoseconds divided to meg. It will be equal to 500. Okay. So this is 1B time. So we initialize 500, means uh, the battery we will take like 2 meg, okay? Then uh, this is received data. Initialize is zero, so means uh, we didn't receive any data yet. The done, the done means is zero, means so we didn't uh, receive data, and the, the bit is zero, okay? Start B is zero, and we initialize the uh, uh, TX as high level. Okay, so in the virtual devices, we have two block. This this is the first block. The first block is handle the receive data. Okay, the second block is is here. When we receive some data, when the receive data done. We send the same data out. We send the same data out. Okay. So the whole module is like this. The devices receive some data and send the same data, exactly the same data back. So receive the data and send it back. Okay. Send the same data back. So first, we take a look at the receive data part. Okay. So this is the receive data. Now we should, we still need the timing figure. Okay, this is a receive data. Receive data module always block negative RX. So we will we will look at uh, look forward the 
negative age here okay once we get the negative age we initialize the, uh, the receive data zero and the time zero means we uh, didn't receive anything first okay so uh, we delay we delay half of the 1b time half of the 1b time will be here okay we will see we will receive the rx means this here we will put this rx to the start b we will see the um we will see the um start b is zero or not okay so um at this moment we need to take a look there we need to take a look at the status state machine again okay so we can so if the start b is zero okay it's here need to be the higher okay so uh we will delay half of the half of the t1b and then we receive the rx uh, is here we see we receive the rx if the if this b is 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 zero it means here is is zero if this b is zero so we will begin to receive the data if not if this b is not zero we will wait in the negative age again so if it is zero okay so it's here so this is here if it is zero we will receive all the b's so we receive b's uh, receive one two three four five six seven eight we receive all the b's and then you will notice here we delay one b uh, t one b means from here will delay to here it will be exactly in the middle of this and uh, exactly in the middle of this here also so we will get all the 8b data save it in this variable mm. also we will get the stop b okay we will get the stop b we will charge the stop b okay so if the stop stop b is correct we will make the done and rxd done is one so means we receive the correct data and the correct stop b if the stop b uh, is not correct it should be high okay it should be high if it is not correct we will make the rx done is zero means we didn't receive the correct b we will be we will waiting for the rx again okay after correct uh, receive the data it will save in the rx data variable okay so if the rx rx done is one it will trigger this module it will trigger this module so we we if it is one so we begin it means uh, we already received the data so we begin to send the data out okay we begin to send the data out we, we take a look at the send data out the, the state machine is here so uh, first we create the we create the start b okay we create the start b and we create the start b make make it a zero make it a zero and we delay one b timing from here to delay to here the start b always zero and then we send the same we send the same uh receive the data the zero b send it to out okay so it will keep one b timing okay similarly we will send the other b one two three four five six seven 
we send all the B out and then um, we make the TX high means we create the stop B we create the stop B here okay and uh, we create the stop B we also create the idle this is idle we create the idle B idle B is also is also high okay so uh, the two module create one thing receive data receive data in here and then we send that out here so this is the whole virtual devices this is a whole virtual devices module is only for uh, test bank test is simulate the the um, FTDI chip okay okay so uh, that's for the uh, virtual devices uh, um, video okay um, we, next time we will talking about the uh, controller which which will communicate with the virtual devices and uh, um, communication be between each others okay that's it for this video I'm Michael and uh, I hope you like it uh, support us and subscribe us see you next time thank you